In this video, you'll learn how to scrape StockX products, prices, and other details with Parcel, our free web scraper. StockX is an e-commerce marketplace and apparel reselling service, which was founded in 2015 in Detroit, Michigan. StockX has over 1,200 employees and has been since auctioning rare or collectible clothing and other goods between sellers and buyers. The sellers usually send their products to StockX for inspection and authentication and are then sold to buyers, which reduces the chances of getting scammed online. They also show historic pricing for specific items, which is cool to view and can be useful for price monitoring and trajectory. If you'd like to conduct price monitoring, we also have another video and guide on scraping any e-commerce website, which you might find useful. Let's begin scraping stock X. Step 1. Extracting products. Begin by running the Parsub application. Click the blue new project button to begin a new project. Enter the stock X URL you wish to scrape from. We will be scraping shoes with this URL. Once the page loads, click the first product's name to extract it. The rest should now turn yellow. Click the next one to train the algorithm. Rename the selection on the left to product. Step 2. Scraping prices. Firstly, click the plus button next to your product selection you just made. Choose the relative select tool and click the first product's name. Now move your cursor to the respective product's price and click it. All product prices on the first page should be extracted. Rename it to price on the left. Note, to extract even more product data, you can use the click function next to your product selection and create a new template. Step 3. Pagination. Begin by scrolling down the page until you see the navigation bar. Click the plus button next to your select page and choose select. Click the next page icon. It should be a SVG or path tag. Rename the selection to pagination on the left and expand it to delete the extractions. Click the plus button next to your pagination selection and choose click. On the pop-up, choose yes as this is a next page button. Finally, choose the additional amount of pages to scrape. Inputting zero will scrape all available products. Step 4. For starting your scrape. To begin scraping, click the green get data button on the left pane. You can test, run, or schedule your scrape. Scheduling is a great option for up-to-date pricing information. No, if you're running into scrape blocks or empty files, visit our IP rotation tutorial. Here's what our data export look like. If you need help using Parsub, you can contact our live chat support. The link is in the description below. Happy scraping!